G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. My name is Tech. Welcome to a pretty cold Perth morning in Wadjuk country, Western Australia. And I acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land. Now, I'm really excited because I've re received a parcel uh, from the US from my friend Dale, and I'm about to open it up to show you what it is. <laughs> I've received this parcel from uh, the US from my friend Dale in Baltimore. Uh, Dale has a channel on YouTube called Aerosurfer LV and he's got an Instagram account in that name. And you really should check out his channel because he has got the most fantastic collection of boots. Dale is also an extremely generous man. Uh, and in recent months, he's uh, started Dale's Leatherworks. So apart from reviewing boots, he's actually started to make his own leather products, starting with some leather aprons. Go check out his channel to see them. And then creating some fabulous um, uh, uh, bags, in, uh, particularly roll top uh, uh, backpacks. But he's recently started doing kilties, or those uh, false tongues. And he has very generously sent me these. So here we go, I'm very excited. So as a card from Dale, Tech, enjoy the kilties, and please test out the single wrap bracelets for me, one in British Tan and one in Oxblit Double Shot. Enjoy, my friend. Well, I wasn't expecting these. Well, that's fantastic. I'll, take, I'll test them out. So Dale's been exploring his leatherworks, and he's created these fantastic kilties. Um, which obviously go on the inside of the boot and you strap them up in the tongue to protect the tongue more than anything. Oh, these are really thick. From Horween, USA. Sensational. Oh, this has got to be the bison leather, I think. Look at that texture. Oh, how many are there, Dale? This is amazing. Thank you, my friend. And there's a rough out. Absolutely fabulous. Some of these are Chrome Excel. I can smell them as they go. Just amazing. They have um, slightly different concealed ends so that you don't actually see them poking out. I'm not a fan of kilties with the ragged edge. So Dale sent me these two types. Right. I'm going to have a look and see which sorts of boots I can put them on. I'll try them on and that's where we're going next. So I'm filming on another day now. Um, I've had a chance to think through my, uh, the way I match these kilties or false tongues. The ones that you see on screen now are the shrunken bison. Uh, they're about, they're nearly four millimeters thick, but very soft and supple. Um, I thought they'd be a good match for these Truman boots in uh, Seidel's natural limerick. Um, there's been a bit of a decision really I've had to make about whether I match the boots or provide some sort of contrast. So I've, I've not really made up my mind whether or not I want the uh, false tongues to contrast the leather or in fact I want them to actually try and match the leather because uh, when they match sometimes they kind of fade away and maybe you want to make a statement. So I've tried a couple of different uh, little variations which we'll take a look at. But just to remind you, and I'm not once being sponsored by Dale, Dale's just a really good friend of mine. Um, uh, these are available from Dale's Leatherworks at dalesleatherworks.com. Uh, he provides, he, he makes, hand makes uh, roll top backpacks, uh, leather aprons, uh, kilties, and uh, these cuffs, which I'll talk about in a minute. So these are the um, kilties that Dale sent me. He sent me seven pairs, and you've seen the uh, shrunken bison already, I've shown that to you. I'll go through these in a minute, but before that I just wanted to show you the cuffs that he sent me. Um, they're in Seidel leather, I believe. Um, that's the Oxblood double shot. I'm sorry about the light, it's very hard to see this. I'm not in studio lighting at the moment. And that's in British tan. 
um, lovely little things. I've actually connected them. They're two separate uh, uh, wristbands, but I've connected them and I, I really like the look. Dale, I think I might be ordering a few more of these. But let's go down to the subject of this video, which is the kilties. So um, I've tried to pair them in slightly different uh, uh, styles, and I haven't quite, as I said earlier, worked out what's the best. Um, let me go through these. So the seven uh, pairs he sent me were the uh, uh, Shankar Bison, which I showed you. Then there's the Cognac Essex, and you can see the sort of Essex texture on that. It's rather, rather nice. Uh, Oxblood Double Shot, which I've paired with this uh, smoky grey from the Parkhurst Nighthawk Kudu, which I think provides a nice sort of Oxblood colour against this dark grey. Uh, the next pair is the Olive Rough Out, in a slightly different finish at the bottom here. You can see this is rounded out and this is rounded in to sort of hide uh, the kilty of the false tongue. In this case, I've shown the uh, olive rough out as a similar colour and texture to these Truman boots in uh, Smoke Rambler, which I think they really pair quite well with. And then in the Grant Stone brass boot in Earth, um, I've paired it with, uh, I believe this is the uh, brown Chrome Excel, uh, and you can, you can smell it, it's like a Chrome Excel. And in this case, I've tried to be uh, in the same colours. The next one is Horween's Big Blue Wave. I've never even heard of Horween Big Blue Wave, uh, but it's a very super thick, almost black uh, blue colour. Um, most of these are, let's take a look, most of these are about two mils, slightly less. Yeah, 2.1, 1.95. 2.2. This whole wing big blue wave is a, is a really, really strong leather. At three mils, probably the thickest one, I think. Uh, where, where, and then there's, uh, uh, what have we got? Natural Dublin, I've talked about, and the Konya Essex. Now, why would you put kilties or false tongues into your boots? Well, apart from the aesthetics, um, the idea is that they protect your tongue, particularly these unlined tongues in Parkhurst and so on, which are a little bit thinner than the upper's leather. I'm not sure, but in my mind, I'm thinking that you might want to put kilties on your more rugged boots, like Truman's and um, these brass boots. Uh, I'm not sure I'd put them into a, a service boot, like an MP service boot. I'd definitely not put them into a dress boot, I think. If you take a look at the designs on these things, um, you know, they're shaped really nicely so that the narrow part goes under the tongue, the laces go through, and then the thick bell-shaped part comes and protects this, this area here under the, under the laces. And often uh, you'll find that that's where you get the most damage on your laces. It's a lovely design. As I've said, there are some which show outside of the uh, boot, and there's some that are inside. Uh, Dale also does them with the jagged edge. I'm not a great fan of this, um, and I think these are a little more discreet. So there you go. Um, if you're interested in these false tongues, these kilties, or these cuffs, or even in a roll-top leather bag, I'm not sponsored by Dale. He's a great friend of mine. Um, contact Dale on his Instagram account, direct uh, message him at LV, or go straight to his website, uh, you find a lot of great uh, products in there. Um, so there you go, guys. I hope you like this um, slightly uh, out of square uh, presentation from me, but I think these are great and I'm really going to be excited uh, putting them all together. And uh, take care, and uh, until then, see you soon.